Hey guys, it's Matt. Um, tonight's first video is going to be about a little program called Derek's Boot and Nuke. Um, a lot of people will call me or they'll email me or when I'm at their house they're going to ask me how can I get rid of my old computer and secure, you know, securely erase the data that's on the hard drive. Um, and this is one of the tools I use. Um, really it's the only one I use right now. Um, I've used it since it was like I think I found it on Ultimate Boot CD or maybe not, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, Derek's Boot and Nuke basically will allow you to boot your old computer to this uh, disk. And this disk has just a few options. Um, and it will basically erase your hard drive to, you know, like military, government, you know, uh, standards basically. Um, so if you actually want to get Derek's boot and nuke, you actually want to do this yourself instead of hiring somebody. Um, hang on a second, let me uh, pull this thing over to full screen. Be right back. Okay. Anyway, that was just messed up. But anyway, if you just go to Google and you just type in, uh, I think it's Derek's boot and nuke, it'll come up like that. It's D A R I K. Boot and nuke, and then you can go right to the second link, which is the download link. And we will go ahead and download it for CDR. And I've already actually downloaded mine. Mine is actually sitting right there. So that's how it downloads. It's a disk image file, it's only 10 megabytes. So now we need to actually burn this little disk image file to a disk. So I'm using IMG Burn, so Image Burn. You can get that off FileHippo.com. Just go to FileHippo.com, and it's on your right. Um, I'll show you really quick. Let's go full screen. Oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Hang on a sec. I hate I'm just not used to this new version of uh, VMware here. Okay, is that full screen? No, full screen. Okay. So when I go to full screen, we go over to filehippo.com, and then we will see under CD and DVD tools, IMG Burn, and it gives you a version. If you click that, and you go over here to download the latest version, so you can get the latest version of IMG Burn. So once uh, IMG Burn is installed, just go ahead and double click it. Now I'm not sure, but I may have a problem with my burner on this computer, so I may have to burn it to an, um, using my other computer. Um, but let me try. So I'll say write an image file to disk is the first option you want. And we'll go ahead and hit, hit that little uh, browse button right there. And we'll go to downloads and select uh, Derek's boot nuke it open and I'll try to write it we'll see what happens here so yeah I was gone for like a month um, I had to upgrade my uncle's network um, from like Windows 2003 to 2008 and do a lot of other stuff so I was over there pretty much every night so yeah <laughs> you guys know when I take off on uh, YouTube for a while I'm out doing a big old project and that's what that was about so now I've got a little time so I have a bunch of videos I actually uh, I use Google Docs a lot and I uh, keep a list of the videos I want to make on there so I've got maybe a dozen in there right now that I can make pretty quickly I'm still working on the whole, I did get a second channel for my gaming videos. Um, that's one thing I'm really struggling with. Um, there's like a gazillion, gazillion gaming channels out there, and um, I'm not sure how I want to frame mine yet. I, I need to somehow make it unique, and I'm just not sure yet. Anyway, um, okay, this is done burning. Uh, right, so we'll go ahead and close that. And let's see if that actually burned okay. Yeah, so it actually did. Sorry about that. Hang on one second. 
Sorry about that. I forgot to put the phone on silent. Uh, anyway, so now it's time to erase this computer because we want to get rid of all of our personal files. And we don't want anyone getting a hold of it if we want to recycle this computer or something like that. So as you can see, I got a hard drive. You know, it's halfway full. It's got uh, it's got a um, good amount of data on it. So we will go ahead and shut this computer down, restart it, and boot to this disk that we have here. Now this is where a lot of people get confused. They don't know how to boot to a disk. Um, depending on your computer, you're going to need to access your your startup menu or your BIOS. Basically, it's the part. Whenever your computer restarts, you'll see a flash of text, and it'll give you a few options. Like on my Dell, I would type in, I would hit F12 to choose my boot manager, or F2 to go into the BIOS and select a, a bootable um, disk first. Um, basically, we want to always have that set up to boot from the disk first, or be able to select um, a bootable uh, disk. Um, so anyway, I'll go ahead and restart this guy. Say goodbye to that guy. So as this guy turns on, I need, for, for this particular computer, I actually have to hit escape. And when I hit escape, I get a boot menu. And we're going to go ahead and attempt to boot from CD-ROM. Hopefully we can. All right, perfect. So we are going to press Enter to start boot and nuke in interactive mode. Now, there's a slight chance that it may not be able to find the hard drive. In that case, we actually need to use uh, Derek's boot and nuke with something like uh, Ultimate Boot CD for Win. Um, so that can get a little tricky. But I would say almost every time I've used it, it's found the hard drive. It's able to actually find the hard drive and erase it. Now, I've never done this in VMware, so it might be different. We'll see what happens. So right now we're just waiting for waiting for it to uh, register these devices. And I guess this is taking a while, so I'll just pause it. Okay, once it registered all my devices. Um, actually able to see the disks and partitions. It says ATA. Hang on a second. <laughs> Got stuff popping up here in front of my face. Uh, it's got my disk loaded, but um, it does have some junk over it. This usually does not happen. I think it's from me using VMware. So um, I'm going to go ahead and choose M for method and normally what I do is a DOD short and it usually takes like I don't know I want to say a half hour if I'm if I'm you know helping someone get rid of their computer get ready for a donation or they need to give it to a family member I'll do DOD short if you're really really in a hurry and you just want to format the hard drive you don't think that anyone's gonna actually attempt to recover your data using other methods then you can use quick erase um, so we'll go ahead and say uh, DOD short, the, the American Department of Defense uh, short wipe, and we'll say enter. And I will say F10 to start. Sorry, needed to hit uh, space. If you look down here at the bottom, it's got these different um, things down here that you'll actually need to use to use this app. So I had to hit space to select the hard drive. You can see it has a wipe. It says wipe right there now. Um, and we'll go ahead and say F10 to start. 
and now it is actually wiping this hard drive 40 gig drive uh, according to Department of Defense you know erasure standards so that's pretty much it I mean there's really not much else to show you if you want to help somebody you know erase their hard drive or you know you want to you want to recycle your computer and don't know how to get rid of the data you know besides taking out the hard drive and physically destroying it um, this is one method you can do that where you know if somebody actually recovers this hard drive in the trash someday or something like that all the data on there is just truly destroyed so anyway um, that's uh, it for this video and I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to uh, make my second video for the night